So hi everybody, welcome back. Um, James and I are talking today about um, COVID and its impact on hotel technology. Obviously, no after the light switch, then the TV is probably the next one. Now, everybody knows, and everybody's probably seen those TV reports where they um, claim that the TV remote is probably the dirtiest thing in the room. And um, yeah, so <clears throat> that's pre-COVID. Now, post-COVID, it's still dirty. But how do we uh, reassure guests that we um, are looking after them, that we have their, their best interest at heart with a TV remote? So, Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The TV remote is always a challenge. You know, it is one of those things that's known to be the dirtiest thing in the room. Um, and, and maybe that might sound shocking to some people, but you have to consider it's the most handled component of a room but it's not something that as a housekeeper visiting a room you're probably strongly focused on when you're doing a turnaround for a room you're very focused on making sure the bathroom is spotless making sure the bedding is impeccable the carpets are clean the surfaces are clean and the room is is shining um, and you perhaps give the remote control a quick wipe and you put it in your place. It's not probably originally, traditionally, being sanitized to the same level as the toilet True. bowl would be. True. So um, now this will, of course, change, I think, in a, a, the post-coronavirus world. But we, guests need further reassurance. So... We'll come on to the technology options in a minute because I'll be coming back to my favorite word again, which is integration. But firstly, you know, we need to look at the things we can do straight off. Um, number one, increase the cleaning of the remote with, um, you know, the, the same level of sanitation as areas of the bathroom and things like that. This is, is obvious where possible. However, still going to provide challenges because of all the little recesses in the buttons and things like yeah. that. Number two, without going into the idea of replacing all the, the uh, remotes as a start, you could look to provide next to the remote a pack of alcohol wipes again, yeah. allowing the guests to wipe down and clean that remote themselves before they touch it. Now, this could be a challenge because I see myself holding the remote in one hand while I clean it, at which point it's too late because I've already touched it. So maybe we need to think about, about how that works. And one point you came up with, Brendan, when we talked before that was very important, I think, is the idea of just placing like a, a disposable plastic cover over the yeah. remote. Um, <clears throat> and this could be an easy win option that this, the remote is essentially bagged every time the room is serviced Correct. so the remote yep. is still cleaned but then bagged and then the alcohol wipes are provided next to it so now the the remote is inside a bag and all you have to do is wipe down the bag before you start using it which is is much easier so these are the simple solutions and this is why we say that you know those cleaning practices and, and high levels of, of of cleaning won't won't go away and won't be totally replaced by sure, sure. technology now, moving on from those, the, the first obvious implementation, as I mentioned, is the, the uh, change out of the remotes. And, and there's three things I see through this. Number one, you're starting with a new remote. So not a remote that's harbored bacteria for a number of years. That's, that's only going to be beneficial for the first few guests, of course. Number two, you'd be looking at an um, antimicrobial type remote. Um, how effective these will be against COVID-19, we're not sure yet because we haven't seen them being used in with this virus before. So maybe I'm slightly sceptical on that one. The, but the third good, one good is... The reason, I think, James, because yeah, everybody yeah. points out that an antimicrobial is actually um, antibacterial. And yes. we, with COVID, we're talking about a virus not virus. a bacteria so yeah um, that's a and that, that'll be a difficult one i think for us to combat it will be and i think we're going to have to wait some time until a product exists on the market that is proven to not harbor the correct um virus uh because you know otherwise they're essentially a wasted investment the third one and this is the one that interests me more is the same as the smart light switching that i mentioned before yeah. um is 
the flat panel glass surface remotes because these are easier to clean. These can be provided, these are much easier to wipe down with um, an alcohol wipe. They're much easier for a housekeeper to service the remote to clean, to sanitize. So this is something um, to think about if the remotes were to be replaced. But I come back to what I say about options and integration. The ideal scenario is a solution through integration where the TV can be controlled by either a guest's own device or yep. voice. Yep. So if the guest is coming into the room and controlling the light switches and the lights with uh, their own device, then they could also look to be using their um, own device through an app or through a, you know, a progressive web app, an app plus design yep. to control the TV. Some TVs have very basic um, controls through an app. Some of the system integrators offer solutions that do this as well. Um, so I think this will become uh, much, much more prevalent as times go on because, you know, the easiest solution to avoid um, to avoid any, any problems that may come from touching the remote is, of course, to not touch the remote. So if we offer a, a fully integrated solution where the remote does not need to be picked up, then this, this could be a real winner. I don't think it's for every guest, so we need to come back to the options, just like I think that voice isn't for every guest. But being able to turn the um, TV on through the own device or voice, I'm in the own device camp personally, um, yep. could be a really, really good option. And that all comes back to that integration using enterprise service bus architecture, having middleware that allows all the systems to talk to each other and data to flow. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. It's just trying to get my head around that technology. There's quite a bit there if you want. Um, yeah. That, that perfect solution. I think we might be seeing some remote controls in um, disposable bags for a period of time. I, um, I think so. I really think so. Um, um, we will pick up our conversation for, uh, for our listeners um, and, uh, and talk more about technology in the post-COVID world. Excellent. Thanks, Brendan. Great talking.